Hey there, it's Sarah, author, speaker, and advocate for sustainable healing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you find the information and resources useful. And for those of you who have been with me for some time, thank you so much for your continued support. Please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a weekly update. Today I want to talk about rediscovering yourself in the aftermath of abuse. Self-care is essential after breaking ties with the narcissist, and in the beginning it will likely be focused mainly on reconnecting with what was lost. Narcissists love to gaslight their victims into total submission, making them distrust their own instincts, morals, and values, and even their whole perspective of the world. If the narc is successful, um, the whole new purpose for the victim is to live to serve the narcissist. The narcissist's goal always is to get the target to understand this role and thrive in it. Gaslighting the victim into believing she should feel honored that the narcissist chose her to fulfill this mission will commonly make the victim willingly release all doubt in the, parking, in the partnership. This is a significant piece of self uh, that tends to go by the wayside in a narcissistic relationship. And it is this piece that needs to be the focus from here on out. To further complicate matters, depending on how long this toxic partnership lasted, a new self may actually be lying dormant waiting to emerge. Not only ha have you matured and changed because the narcissist entered your life, but you would have done so even if this had never happened. And now you're also wiser in the aftermath of abuse. So just because you enjoyed something prior to meeting the narc doesn't mean that it will still be relevant to your present life. So it is important not to view this as an inability to reconnect with that lost sense of self, but as a consequence of time. Understanding what would have changed regardless of where life led you is important. Don't try to hold on to something that seems far too foreign or is just simply not enjoyable any longer. You should also identify those aspects of self that you still enjoy, but which you have not been able to do so under the narcissist's wrath. Re-engage with these things. When you begin to do so, you'll start to feel alive again. You will feel empowered by your ability to take back what was lost for far too long, and this will keep you determined to keep moving forward. One way to do this effectively is to practice mindful meditation. Sit in a quiet space somewhere where you can be uninterrupted and truly connect with your thoughts. Ask yourself to recall those things that are important to you and which make you feel alive. Pay attention to how each passing thought makes you feel and the meaning that your mind and your body assign to it. If you feel emotionally fulfilled by something your mind has brought to your attention, then this could still be relevant to your present life. However, if a thought feels forced or there's no meaning auto assigned to it, then maybe you should just let it pass and it's not something that you will enjoy anymore. Do this as often as you need to to re reconnect with those pieces that may have been suppressed amid the narcissistic relationship and soon enough, you will better understand that internal self that was suppressed. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you again very soon.